Wrestling Fan Wrestling Show. This is part two of a four-parter where me and the boys rebook all the WrestleManias ever. I'm the big beefy boy, Shaz Beef, and I'm joined by a couple of marks, Johnny Mortz and Kieran Dunphy. Kieran. Kieran Dunphy. Kieran. Gentlemen, you're very welcome back after receiving all the abuse on TikTok and Instagram and the likes. You were called a soy boy and we were collectively all called a bunch of fucking nerds, which isn't wrong. No. Oh. Can't complain. A yeah, can't man. argue with Hulkamaniacs. Yeah, they're getting they're getting quite pissed off. They're mobilizing. You. Yeah, but I think you said before on a previous podcast, it's like you you know the charisma that the man had and stuff was unparalleled. Then it's just the personal person of Terry Boulder Balea is probably the one. These that's... seem like kind of young Hulkamaniacs. They're on TikTok, so like at a young Hulkamaniacs. We're just like a bunch of fucking nerds who don't go to funerals yeah this is it that's what their big beef is fucking yeah. assholes well uh, speaking of funerals um, I hate Wrestlemania 11 uh, it was a bunch of dirt and it was a dead pay per view in my opinion and uh, we need to rebook it five sure right okay. so yeah. the main 5.7 5. out of 10 on IMDB I just learned oh well the big matches mm. were uh, Lawrence Taylor the NFL footballer against Bam Bam that was the main event you had the world title match which was HBK versus Diesel. You had Brett versus Bob Backlund, the I Quit match, and Yokozuna made his return with uh, own heart. So there's kind of a lot that you could mess around with that. First of all, going back to WrestleMania 8, not having the World Championship as... Uh, and WrestleMania 1, that was my bugbear, not having the World Championship as the main event, that would have pissed me off anyway. So that's something I'd definitely change. Plus, they kind of in recent years, they a lot of people give out about whenever the world title doesn't finish the show. But again, there's a lot of precedence there. You know, I'm all about precedence. You are, but also like at most of those points as well. Like for the most part, the matches that have main evented ahead of title matches are usually not as good as the title matches. True, with the exception of Sean and Sean Undertaker. Oh, Sean Undertaker. Wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't say that about like Roman Reigns versus the Undertaker. Yeah, mm. but then on the flip side. Uh, one that we will be booking in this episode, WrestleMania 18, where you had Rock and Hogan on before yeah. uh, Jericho and Triple H. Sometimes you should do it. Yeah. Well, sometimes common sense should prevail. Common sense didn't prevail. WrestleMania uh, 11 had Bam Bam versus LT. Uh, the story started from the Royal Rumble. Um, he pushed him. I can understand wanting to get a, a big name in. I think from a worldwide perspective, like the NFL isn't really followed, particularly then in... Ireland. I know it's getting a big growing growth here in Europe at the moment, but like, you know, from an international audience perspective, was there much? I think the part of it is that it's like, I, lo I love Bam Bam Bigelow. Yeah. But did I ever expect Bam Bam to be main event in WrestleMania? Like, was he even the right choice against Lawrence Taylor? He was absolutely the right choice against Lawrence it's Taylor, but, I think. Yeah, but if, I think if you're going to, if you're going to bring in anyone that's like a celebrity or who's a novice and have someone who's a very uh, you know, he's got the uh, aura of Bam Bam Bigelow, but it's also very safe to work with and very professional. Like, he's he's as good a choice. I also love that Bam Bam has a WrestleMania main event mm. under his belt. A lot of people don't have that. But but, but he, was it the right decision? No. If you if you put him with, Say if you put LT with Sean. Like, Sean's going to bump his ass off. Right? Yeah. I wouldn't put LT with Sean there, but Jesus, you could have done something with LT and like, you know, there's there's other... It didn't need to be main event. We've had Floyd Mayweather be, since... It definitely didn't need to be main event. And like, that Mayweather... Uh, Big Show match, um, WrestleMania 24. That was, that, that's a cracker of a match. Mm. I don't think like Lawrence Taylor and Bamba Big look got to that kind of level. No, I think if if you need LT, I'll just, this is my fancy book. If you need LT in the main event, you could follow on from what happened at last year's Mania and give Own Heart a main event against LT. He would equally do the job. He would equally be experienced. Bump he could bump, bump his ass off, but I, it's slightly bigger than I, Michael's. Yeah, well, I, I, I think the whole thing was Bam Bam was a big guy. So yeah. he's going up against an NFL. I think he was a linebacker. Then what? Two big guys clashing. Then you got yeah. Yoko as an option. Yeah. Well, Yoko came back with Owen. Yeah, yeah, I know Yo that. Yeah. Yoko came back, but uh, I, I like I. I don't know what his mobility issues starting to kind of creep in at that point if he was necessarily going to be the right um, opponent. Owen Hard, I think, would have been perfect, um, which I think would be, yeah, that that would have really worked. And then Bam Bam, I would have absolutely then slotted in against The Undertaker. Yeah. Other than fucking... I have a different one for King The Undertaker. Kong Bundy. What do you have? At uh, WrestleMania 11. Uh, I think you like it because I was looking, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of 
going back through the archives, looking at, say, Bray Wyatt. And Bray Wyatt is a character that is somewhat inspired by someone who came in in 1995, who is somewhat inspired by Max Candy and Robert De Niro, who has a history with The Undertaker. Yeah. yeah. You're looking at Whale and Mercy. Yeah. yeah that's fucking that's, good, right? That's the good stuff. I'd like yeah. to, and then you have the white, like, fucking attire against the black attire, you I, know, yin and yang that's against each like other. Whale and Mercy and Undertaker was kind of a lucky dream feud of mine. Mm. Undertaker was having an awful time in 1995. Like, he was lumbered with, like, some of the worst of the worst. King Kong worst. Bundy. And I, I don't know if um, the Whale and Mercy character was, you know, tailored to be uh, Undertaker nemesis, but he was, like, that was a perfect character to mm. go up against the Undertaker. Um, and they were they were the skyscrapers before, weren't they? And they were the skyscrapers uh, yeah. in WCW. They, yeah. were, they have a tag nice. team history, like so. Poor Danny Spivey was just a bit too broken down at that point, and like that was, was he in for Mania Eleven? Was he around for then, no, or was it just actually, a bit after? He debuted after it, yeah, yeah. But I mean, you, you could have done two months of vignettes, that. yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah you see perfect. that that's that's a lot of my thinking now as we go on through WrestleMania is like, oh, bring him in just that bit earlier. Yeah. Just for the story. It's always the when, he's, when they're an option, because, yeah. you know, if we're, we, in the last episode, we were talking about who's on the alternative, who's in WCW, were they actually a viable yeah. option? Yeah, yeah, Mercy was. I think mm. that's a good, good call. So, Great call. Like, obviously not main event. So for the main yeah. event, I have a different idea. So go on. Imagine Sean gets thrown over at the Royal Rumble. Bulldog wins. Repeat of SummerSlam 92. You bulldog and Brett in the main event of WrestleMania 11. How do you, so how, do you not, get, how do you get Brett there? Uh, e- either Backlund doesn't drop the title to Diesel, so Brett beats Backlund at the Rumble, and then you have Bulldog and Brett going up against each other. I think it's a great idea for WrestleMania match. I think uh, it probably would have suited both those performers more so than what they ended up doing on that card. Mm. Um, but you talk about doing that for the world title. World title, yeah. Instead of Sean and Diesel, because I, I, I think bought... Sean and Diesel was a bit was the bigger world title match. But it also did not necessarily need to have the world title at that. Yeah, point. I always I always thought that Sean's boyhood story was somewhat taken away from because he had that chance previous. Yeah, like, I, I think the run that. into WrestleMania twelve would have meant so much more had he uh, not won the Rumble as a heel the year before. Oh, you yeah. would you agree with that? Yeah. So you're saying that because he had to fought Diesel for the world title as a the, heel the, the and follow- won the Rumble as a heel, but the following year then didn't mean as much. Yeah, I I, I think as a it would have meant more. Lost. It would have meant more as a baby face for him to win the Rumble the first time and then win the title the first time of Askin as opposed to learning the error of his ways. Still like Cody, because like the build up with the. Uh, the build up to WrestleMania 12 was all about Sean going back to his roots and he was going back to San Jose and he was training, what's your man's name? Jose Lothario. Jose Lothario. He was Good training with him and, you know, they were doing I hate, all the things. when they brought him in. They were doing all I didn't these things. This. Like, if you didn't have that brash dickhead Sean yeah. from the year before, I thought that would have meant more. Like, was Sean still being a dickhead, but like not winning the yeah, Rumble but he's, as no, a dickhead. He's walking around with, like, you know, this old Mexican man who was his trainer. Like, he's got a whole Mr. Miyagi thing going on at that yeah. point. So he's kind of less reprehensible. He's a little bit more sympathetic. Yeah, but I, I would have thought he would have been, it would have meant more had WrestleMania 11 and all that stuff not happened. Yeah, I mean, my take for WrestleMania 11 has been I would be. Uh, keeping the world title on Backlund until the Rumble. Yeah, we've covered this in our Royal Rumble episode. Yeah, hell yeah. Just, these are the these are the bullet points. Uh, Backlund until the Rumble. Backlund drops the title to Sean. Diesel wins the Rumble. I'm still going with Sean and Diesel main event of WrestleMania 11. I think it was probably the hottest feud going into it, and I think it definitely would have warranted. Um, if it wasn't a world title match. You know, I wouldn't put it in that slot. Mm. But it was the world title match and it wasn't in that slot. Yeah. I definitely wouldn't have put Lawrence Taylor and Bam Bam Big in there. Like, it's a real spectacle. And uh, sure, it was cool for American fans who knew who Lawrence Taylor was. Um, I had a breeze. Same. Yeah. Just, what were they going just for? Just want it? to see Bam Bam destroy him. That they're, was they were going, obviously, celebrity in wrestling. Like, were they... Well, Bam Bam. Was Vince trying to... Was he trying to to recreate some of the old WrestleMania one and two magic with the celebrity? Yeah, but I, but as usual, he hasn't a fucking clue how to book or generate mm. much excitement in anything in this era. Yeah, what about you? Any alternative? I would go into the Owen and uh, Lawrence Taylor. Yeah, main, main as adventure. your main event. I oh, if you need Lawrence Taylor in the main event, which Vince seems to have, then I would go Owen. Uh, Diesel and Sean, I didn't, I didn't mind that. Like I huh? suppose, look, this is an era when I'm. 
I'm 11 years old. Like, I'm buying all this. Like, they can yeah. feed me anything. Well, that, well, as long as I know retro, the story. I'm also trotting out Jenny McCarthy and Pamela Anderson. Yeah, I'm okay with that's, that. That's another I'm thing okay that you have to factor into. Yeah. If Bulldog wins and you have Pamela Anderson and Jenny McCarthy thrown in with him going up against Bret Harris, you're kind of like, ah, man, that doesn't make sense. It makes sense with Sean. And Tommy Lee got really pissed off, didn't he, with the whole Pamela Anderson and Shawn Michaels thing. British right. Bulldog was very well established to be happily married to his wife, Diana, so I, yeah, I don't sorry. know if I would have bought any, yeah, but then, any chicanery from him. Yeah, but if, say if he, were, if he was put with Pamela Anderson and then Bret was like, you're with her, what you're doing to my sister kind of thing. And Bulldog is trying to defend his honor. I think that's fucking. That's a nice. I mean, it could work. It sounds very Vincey booking, but yeah, it could have. And as eleven year old, so I, would, I, I would have accepted it. You so know? I don't know if I'm buying uh, uh, David Boy Smith with Pamela Anderson. No, but like it, she's the the winner of the rumble is the valet, so she's just naturally going to have to be with him. Whereas Brett now is, is getting in his head about it and starts getting a bit uh, kind of defensive of his sister. Yeah, I mean, it could work. I, like, my booking for Davey Boy Smith for that card, I think he was already kind of meandering a bit. He was a couple of months off his heel turn, mm. his first singles heel turn. Um, I would have turned him before that and had him destroy Lex Luger in a one-on-one match. Whoa. Just to, ha- <laughs> ju- just to have... <laughs> Which know, makes so personal. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. But like... Who did they go up against that? They went up against the fucking Harris Twins as the Blue Brothers. Yeah. Mm. Two kind of... Uh, Eli and Drake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Eloy and Jacob Blue. Jacob, that was never. But Uncle Zebekoya, aka uh, Dutch Dutch Mantel, yeah, Zeb Coulter, um, who were kind of a not and tag team. And then you have like Luger and Dave, who are two pretty big single stars. And I think actually igniting a feud between the two of them in advance of WrestleMania. Did, like Luger, was, Luger the was out United the door. Something United Powers. But did it, Allied, it, Allied Powers. They didn't Powers, know so. Luger was out the door. They didn't know Luger was out but the door. Like, but retrospectively, I would have. Book that as a kind of a hot feud for them. Also, Luger did not in WWF in 1995. Well, like, retrospectively, when you look at Luger, Yoko, Brett, and Owen were the four main components of WrestleMania 10. And they're not in the main event scene, let alone the world title scene. Mm. That's a bit... Who did you say there? Luger, oh, yeah. Brett, Owen, and Yoko. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I suppose it was Sean's uh, era to politics. Well, we're in, we're, in, we're in, like, you know, the clicker... Amping up here. Yeah. This is probably their peak year. Ramon so. was against Jared. Yeah. Also, not uh, at that point a particularly hot fuse, but I guess mm. they, were, they were trotting it out. So WrestleMania 11, you would change it. I would definitely. I mean, you have to change the whole thing. Like, I would yeah. rebook so much of that card, yeah. but I think I'd still ultimately end up with Shawn Michaels and Diesel in the main event for the world title, uh, and that would be Diesel winning for the first time, and that mm. would be Shawn's first world title run. But I think he was ready for it at that point. And uh, yeah, yeah. So what way would that affect WrestleMania 12 though? If that did happen, nah, WrestleMania, it's, WrestleMania 12 is still the same. Really? Yeah. But you know, th- that's not the s- it can't be the same if Sean has that heel title I, 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 No, I don't think I don't think it can. But he I, had think it. Be, I think it's the exact same. The boyhood dream. I think and it, it all stays the exact same. Nothing changes. Those Marines absolutely kick the fuck out of Syracuse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no avoiding that kind of a beating. <laughs> but like the, For he, Shawn Michaels in nineteen ninety five. He's getting it no matter he, what. So much off his head. Yeah. He comes back then as Yeah, as the I, think can, dream. I think I think you can he still, wants to get his title for the second time. You can still do oh, all Oh sorry, you're saying Michaels wins it. No, I'm no, uh, no. Michaels. He says Michaels wins the title at the Rumble against oh. Backlund, loses to Diesel then at Mania, I mean, yeah. and then has his redemption arc then and WrestleMania. Uh, no, title I, I, I'm same. happy with Diesel Michaels, but I don't think Michaels wins the title in advance. Oh well, I'm having a minute in advance because I want a shorter Diesel reign and a longer Bob Backlund reign. Well, that's yeah. This is my mechanism. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Will we move on to WrestleMania 12? Yeah, I think the the only thing I would change about that is the fucking Iron Man match. I would still have an Ironman match, but I would have one where things happen and people are excited to watch it. A half an hour Ironman match. Things happen. Like, you know, like that MJF, um, Brian Danielson one from Revolution last year was just a masterclass in like the the pacing and storytelling in an hour long, hour plus match mm. um, without feeling too dragged out. And like, I admire what they were going for in that match and it's Have you technically rewatched impressive. it? Like, have you... I have tried to re- I re-watch it numerous I, times. I skipped ahead. I you do be bored off your. As a child, I was bored, and I don't think it'll get much better as an adult. Um, l- w- w- I like I, to finish. Like I, I, bits of it. There's cool spots that you can pull for a highlight reel, but um, ju- like just 60 minutes of no falls in what is supposed to be the first Iron Man match. I, I kind of like that because I remember when we had a was it an Angle and Lesnar Iron Man match, and there was loads of falls in it, and I was kind of like off put by it. 
Because And I fully loaded Remember when The Undertaker Came back The Rock And Triple H Had an Iron Man match And there was loads of falls Of that I think And I was like oh Undertaker comes out late Yeah Is I that did, that one Yeah when he comes back As the American, American Badass, badass. I, I was like oh I thought an Iron Man match Generally goes no falls But no the yeah, I, I, I funnily enough agree with you I, in terms of the Iron Man. I found it jarring when I started seeing loads of falls. I yeah. felt everyone felt weaker for yeah. getting Why for is everyone beaten, losing all the yeah, time? Yeah, they're be, getting beaten a lot throughout 60 minutes. Uh, I, I, I liked what Angle did when he, uh, he, I think he got the chair and took a DQ and then got two pinfalls off the back yeah, of the DQ. Uh, so. Brilliant, yeah. Well, that's cool. Like the longer a match goes on, you, you, uh, mm. you evolve it. So I like the way people do that now. You beat the crap out of somebody really early on get them really weak mm. it's like if you ever played it on uh, Smackdown versus Raw that's the key tactic yeah, get yeah. disqualified as many times as you want as long as your man ends up with no energy for the rest of the match yeah um, but I yeah I would 100% just change that into a, a more one fall dramatic match no time yeah, limit I, 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 and they know, can and they can still go like 45 minutes an hour but like just one fall no time limit I think I, I, di- I didn't even know there was a choice that you could make it less than 60 minutes. I thought an Iron Man match had to Good. be 60 minutes. So did I until TNA came along and they had a 30 minute Iron Man match that AJ Styles was in. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay. AEW a- did, a, did a half an hour on as well. Mm. They would pack and kind yeah. of kind of feel like an Iron Man means you have to go beyond the 60. Like yeah. that's our yeah. 60 plus. Would you change any of the participants? We had The Undertaker in with Diesel before Diesel was going off. You had Goldust against uh, Rowdy Roddy Piper Love at it. one stage Love because uh, Ramon pulled out. Would you? I, I think that I think that was a fair... Warrior came back. Warrior came back against Triple H. Yeah, mm. I think that was a really well-structured WrestleMania card in that for the most part, the pe- like it felt like everybody, you know, this year's WrestleMania feels like that. It feels like everybody is facing the people they should be facing and... The Barrett Goldust and Ramon, even though Piper did come back, was Piper like, came back just to fill the gap for Scott Hall in that yeah. match, and then obviously things probably would have been different if uh, Yokozuna was a little bit more mobile. I think there was an announced singles match between him and Vader, which was the plan, mm. but then they had to make it a six man. So what did yeah? So what did Vader do on that card? He Vader was in the he was, yeah, he was in, in the Yoko. six man, but I would imagine that we probably would have got like uh, I think we would have got would have got like maybe Ahmed Johnson and. British Bulldog in a who, singles who was match. The six man we was, probably would have got Jake Roberts and Owen Hart in a singles match. The six match was six man was who? It was uh, Yoko. J- Jake Roberts, Yokozuna, and Ahmed Johnson. A team for the ages yeah. <laughs> against uh, the Cam Cornet, Vader, yes. yeah. Bulldog, Owen Hart. V- Vader, like he came in, he debuted at that Royal Rumble, and Sean knocked him and Yoko out. Um, I would have thought, oh, let's say Vader and. Taker at that or give Vader something I know what you I'm said like, it was Yoko I, but like I, I, I'm definitely not touching Undertaker and Diesel I feel like for two huge stars in the company for the last few years like they, they you know it, it took them so long to get to a program mm. between Undertaker and mm. Kevin Nash and they got it they got it just as Nash was leaving and I think it was the right time probably to do it well, I think when you got to Undertaker and Vader in WWE you got it just as Vader had given up as well kind of thing but he, there was a couple of flashes of the old Vader in that as well. I think uh, him and Undertaker had a couple of matches like at Canadian Stampede and at Royal Rumble 97. And they actually always worked pretty well together. It was just, mm. what was really unfortunate about it is I think the bloom was off Vader so much that like... That's what I'm saying, yeah. Like the matches were really good and they, they had a really good chemistry. But, no one just um, cared. Yeah, like Vince had no interest in presenting Vader as a... That's because it's as a, a, the SummerSlam, though. As this kind of monster who could destroy The Undertaker. He definitely didn't promote Vader as, as threatening as he promoted Giant Gonzalez or, yeah. you know, Kama Mustafa or even the Great Khali, which or is a un- fucking joke. Or, or it's or the Vader. Under, underfaker. The Underfaker is a... Video on the Wrestling Fan Wrestling Show YouTube. Uh, yeah, I, I think the main event, for me, perfect. I wouldn't change bar, it. Bar, I think... The, just have a few things happen just the, like the match type. a little bit sorry, of intrigue it yeah it's, it doesn't sorry I mean the, the, the opponents the opponents <laughs> and the winner how they got there yes debatable yeah and the storyline going into it wasn't really that effective because you also you know it's a hard sell with two, two baby faces too Brett still looked a bit strong in the end which was uh, I'm sure tactical uh, yeah which was, well yeah they went the distance like and kind of walked like, off with the belt yeah. yeah but he did he also looked like a you know, petulant whiny yeah bitter Brett was coming little fucker that yeah. was just like stomping off with his belt loved it so there was a couple of nice little and um, he does like a seats. Y they're restarting yeah, the match yeah, like yeah, Y yeah. yeah real heel move yeah, like, yeah. yeah I love it it was a nice I think it was a nice hint of the heel Brett that was to coming come. if, if you're looking at see obviously WCW were 
just a bit away from the NWO because the guys are yeah. gone. You know, they're you're probably not looking over your shoulder at anybody over there going, what can they contribute to this card? Like we've seen what Warrior contributed to the card and throughout his run in 96, and it was sweet fuck all. I suppose that's another thing about this era is just, it is the low point of WWF, like in terms of audience attendance. I think 95, every, is, yeah. 95 is just... No, 95 is right. WrestleMania yeah, 11. 90, 96, 96 now, so. at least oh, had a really like... This is when the NWO is about to get... Yeah. Not, 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 not yet. Nine, though. What, what yeah. 96 did have, like 95 had like the worst of gimmicks with some very questionable wrestlers. I was the kind of height of that whole like weird job ac- occupation thing, you know. Isaac Yankum, TL Hopper, the goon, um, you know, Salvatore Sincere, Freddie Joe Floyd, Drossy, uh, the dumpster. Tracy Smothers is Freddie a Freddie Joe Floyd, who actually should have had a much better run, actually. I, be I, he wrestled in the Carlton Ballroom in Kilkenny. Tracy Smothers. Tracy Smothers, yeah. Him and Kid Cash were on the same card. And and El Generico, Sami Zayn, and I got to meet them. Is and it is it is it a fact that did Tracy Smothers go go for a night in the beer in Kilkenny? Quite possibly. I didn't go with him. I was only a uh, fan at that stage. I went, uh, I, went, I went out on a night in the beer with... Uh, mother just hanging around outside the Kilford Arms. With Doug, no, I went into the Kilford Arms with Doug Basham. No way! Yeah. Doug I just arbitrarily said Kilford Arms, not thinking that it was possibly the, the wrestler's pub in wow. Kilkenny. And then I got called to go bouncing. It was like, shame we're down a person to go to... Uh, I need you at Abracababra. I was like, but I'm I think Kilfer could Bash. still work as a wrestling venue. Huh? Kilfer could still work as a wrestling venue in the oh, back as long, area. as long as you have the ceilings, yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, we'll put that down, yeah. But, right. uh, but uh, you know, we hit, the, we hit the height of the, you know, occupations, the bin men, the plumbers, the fucking uh, whatever else, forensic accountants, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, um, Carpenter. That's the undertaker. No? Yes. The master craftsman. So, like, we have the Godwins coming. The Godwins came in '95 as well. Yeah. well. Well, Henry did anyway. Phineas was hog. Oh, no, hold on. No, Henry O. Godwin, hog. A genius. Phineas I. Godwin. No, yeah, it was Phineas I. Godwin, which was pig. Yeah. And Henry O. Godwin, which was hog. Vince loved his So, this acronym. is this is the bedlam that was the w- <laughs> yeah. WF in 1995. Fake farmers. But, but, like, weird gimmicks, bad jobs, not great wrestlers. And then 1996, what happens is you get this massive influx of, like, now the book can still shit because Vince hasn't a clue what he's doing. Yeah, but then but he, you get this massive influx of, like, amazing wrestlers. Steve Austin, yeah. yes. Mick Foley, Vader. Mark Merrill, Ron Simmons. Like, Did you put Mark Merrill up there, yeah? Oh, yeah. Uh, not with the others, At but the he start, still, he though, shouldn't he was, start fucking press. Oh, he, he looked he awesome. Quality, yeah. yeah, he was something different. There was nothing like him when he came across. Apparently Vince always liked the Johnny B badge. Yeah, yeah it could. Like, like most of his ideas, it's completely rooted in, you know, growing up in a trailer park in the 1950s. Yeah, but, yeah. In North Carolina. Huh. But yeah, he had a fucking, yeah, he had a great time with it. So, Until he couldn't actually use it and then he had to come up with something new, mm-hmm. which was did not man. go well. Was a wild man? Was a wild man? Wild Man. Wild Man was the he first. He was just a man who I liked was wild. wild. I liked it. He came out with that, and that's still to this day, that is like the biggest height that you'll see on a shooting star press. Yeah, it was pretty like, amazing. He just like it. the vertical leap At on the time. that. I, like, I remember he used to watching Billy Kidman do it. I'm like, he's going to fuck his neck doing this. Because he always had a bit of a sideways swirl on it. Mark Mayer was yeah. just bang. Yeah. But uh, so no matter. That Mayer, Kidman one was sick. That was, that was the best one I saw as well. Kidman? The Kidman one, yeah. Do you like that one? I, I loved him because when I saw it as a kid I was like I kind of feel like I maybe could do that yeah, yeah. because he just made it look like he was a kid falling off a roof <laughs> yeah <laughs> which yeah. is most of your high spots in that age I couldn't do it at all but uh, it was just so sloppy but also kind of weirdly precise mm. um, I always enjoyed that it looked more realistic than like it didn't look like he needed to be an acrobat to do that whereas Mark Merrow was pure like big top circus 100% God, he yeah. looks Sable, like it as well of course the whole act yeah uh, uh, Sable's introduction mm. WrestleMania 12 then were it's it's staying as Brett and Sean has to long way around, but yeah, the thing we said that we agreed on about twenty minutes ago was definitely Naked and the entertaining. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, res- it, it, it's the right main event. WrestleMania yeah. thirteen, then Sid and Undertaker. Uh, uh, the, mm. Sid's second main event at WrestleMania, so he's already you like you can't use the excuse now that oh, I I'd be I'm happy that they got yeah. one WrestleMania. I like Sid, event. by the way. So do I. Yeah, like Sid. I, yeah, Wait, yeah, the vicious, I'm, I'm the justice, or the psycho. All of them. All of the them. The man involved. himself, Sid yeah. Udy. He looked, he seemed a like gentleman. a gentleman. A softball loved, player himself. Just, just, a, just a softballer at heart. Mm. Mm. Broke his fucking leg jumping at Scott Steiner, which is a tragedy. Nearly stabbed Aaron Anderson to death with yeah. a scissors, scissors in a hotel in Blackburn. Beautiful. That's what it. What a guy. So happy. Um, but yeah, so The Undertaker versus Sid was the main event of WrestleMania 13. Looking back on that now, I, I, I can't remember it because I, I started going into my WCW fandom then. 
you know what? I haven't a fucking clue about this WrestleMania. Like, I'm like... Well, you have Austin and Brett. You've got Austin and Brett there, but for the most part, I'm looking at, like, Undertaker and Sid, and I'm like... So this yeah, is Sean. Like, Sean, that, that Sean has of, lost his smile. Sean's gone. Felt, yeah. Sean's right. fucked up the whole thing. So Sean wouldn't job to Brett Rocky Maivia allegedly is, Rocky Maivia nah, is up against the Sultan I think Sean has admitted that at this stage the, the, well it's Rocky Maivia we're against what, the, we're a ways away Rikishi from the versus Rock. The Rock you know yeah I mean, Bloodline it, it, the, the original pa, the, the original Sult, Sultan idea um, would have possibly would have been much better in that spot but like hey at least it's like what was the original Sultan idea that gimmick was designed specifically for Sabu oh yes Amazing. yes yes yeah and I heard that. that that was a gimmick Vince wanted to do with him, and it was because Sabu wouldn't talk. Yeah, the, the whole idea of like having his tongue cut out and having that mouthpiece was supposed to get that across. And then he was he was supposed to debut with his uncle, but then whatever Sabu didn't want to do it, or he didn't want to like make the concessions Vince wanted him to make, so he fucks off. And Vince has you know his drawer full of ideas, and he's like, well, it's hanging around. So put it on that guy. Just put on Rikishi. Yeah. 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 At that point, he should have just been Rikishi, which would have been great, and we would have got a cool. Rikishi Rock well, they, yeah. Rikishi, potentially well Rikishi at a time where they both needed something better to the do. Rikishi song gimmick came from what Vince wanted to originally do apparently with Yokozuna and just have him wrestling in like the the song <laughs> imagine that with Yoko is there no law he wants yeah. to get to <laughs> but uh, like who who do you check? like does Warrior stay in no that, Warrior like, never stays in Warrior's always no. to fuck it with her when things start to go no. south not Warrior like either. imagine Warrior did stay like Warrior you, is this it. when you push your Vader and and because they so Vader's still in the title mix when they have that uh, after the Rumble and the Fatal 4 way the whatever, Fatal 4 way yeah it. so Vader's still kind of in that periphery Again, we got this pattern of our, uh, who are the four Davey Boy Smith and uh, Owen Hart been wasted in this final era final four sorry final four final, final, final four, four of, of the titular final four pay-per-view was yeah. Undertaker Hart. Stone Cold Steve Austin Bret Hart Vader Vader okay yeah so like naturally all time sorry match. Sid where's Sid coming Sid, to? Sid Sid's, Sid's just been the world champion so yeah. he's oh, very just ticking along very much in the mix yeah Sid loses the title at the 97 Royal Rumble in San Antonio so Sean has another moment in front of everybody at the Alamo Dome then he realises he has to do a job to Bret Hart yeah. and then he lost his smile lost his smile so how did Sid get back that title then I think at that point... Did he not win it a fatal four? No. no uh, that Brett, was the number one contender. So, Brett wins the, the the vacant world title at the fatal four pay-per-view. Yeah. Which, that match was originally supposed to determine the number one contender for... Because of the way it would have been by Hart anyway. Yeah. 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 Um, Brett Hart won it and then Vince decided to course correct and had Brett drop the title after one day to Sid the following night on that's Raw. That's what it was, yeah. Like that's some clusterfuck booking, but there's clusterfuck. a there's a lot of that different well, really good stuff. Really good stuff came out of it. Yeah, but there's a lot of different avenues that you can stem on from there. Like, say he doesn't drop the title, and Austin goes up against Brett, and that's for the title. Not that it's needed, but like imagine that is. I still you don't do get feel, Austin. You don't yeah, get Austin. I don't know. Like, you do look because Austin still loses. He no. still does the. Oh yeah, I, yes and no. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly not. I know this is like different to what I said about Shawn Michaels, but I, I don't, I don't really feel this about Michaels. Whereas with Austin, I'm like his first main event should have absolutely been 1998. Oh, I it's totally perfect. agree. Yeah, I totally agree. So Tyson, whatever happens with WrestleMania 13, I'm not putting Steve Austin in that main event. No, but 13, I'm putting 30, in some form of a kind of career making match that he had, <laughs> he could have in the semi semi main. But 13 match. is is. I'm 13 is why 14 works. Like it's, it's the Brett match. Like if you t- take that out, then I don't think you get the same Austin. No, but that's yeah, no, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not changing. No, that. but what I'm saying is if Brett never dropped the title, still had the same match with Austin, but it was for the title, no. Austin still loses. I don't he think he just so. lost his I chance. Would, I would have loved I would have loved a uh, uh, Undertaker Vader main event. I would have loved an Undertaker Mankind main event. Yeah, well, I was gonna to touch upon it. So this is when Mick Foley uh like, he, he come he comes in, um, but they have that big fucking feud that like culminates at SummerSlam Is that with, boiler the, room? with the Boiler Room Brawl. I think then there's a kind of thing with Goldust and McFoley for a while. Yeah, but the, the only all like the weird that, characters that, like, Vader kind of isn't in, that, that Goldust McFoley Mankind interface that they were doing in 1996 was really fucking promising. And then they, I don't know what happened. Somebody got cold feet. Something happened. They didn't go through with it. It was on the cover of like WWF magazine, and they did it on house shows and they had mm. it on television a little bit. But it was this weird kind of psychosexual relationship with Goldust and Mankind. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like I was like, like it was sexual. You know, like I'm a kid. I'm like, I'm on board. What's going on here? What are these guys yeah. doing? You know, like don't uh, come in, man. You know, 
<laughs> like mankind was calling them mommy and like oh, there was yeah. a really weird thing going on but I was like this is fucking like the two of them really should have they should have continued as a tag team yeah uh, and freed Vader up for something else on that card um, you know do anything but Vader like uh, at that fucking point and because you know Vader and Mick Foley are ca- caught in a weird tag team that never really took off with each other and then they're up against another heel tag team David Boy Smith and Owen Hart. I feel like those four guys particularly all could have been doing so much better. Particularly at WrestleMania that was quite underpowered and was been rebooked on a weekly basis. I can't think of many other matches at WrestleMania 13. Badass uh, six-man Chicago street fight with uh, Legion Legion of Doom and Ahmed Johnson against Mm. the Nation of Domination. Like Ahmed, could you have done anything more about Ahmed? No, no, no. no. Nah. They tried to, didn't yeah, they, they tried. Like, I love this. They did everything they could. They did everything they could. Unfortunately, yeah. he had a great look and he the was really Pearl charismatic. Was... Badass finisher, uh, great entrance music. He just, I know he was unintelligible a lot of times when he spoke, but uh, I think it was more so the injuries that just kept fucking him up. Farouk, Farouk, well, yeah, Ron, like you know what, like do Ron Simmons and fucking Vader. Like we were, we were getting into the real good Farouk character yeah. work here yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, and he was definitely this was Mark probably the peak stuff. of Ron Simmons as a singles guy because you know he's going to be the first world title contender really for Undertaker well we're going to get you Mankind again but then in terms of like the big pay-per-views King of the Ring is going to be mm. Farouk against Undertaker you could have done something to build him up there if anyone other than Vince is booking does Sid main event no I don't think so if Warrior stayed around because like Warrior Warrior, was a war, Warrior I think he used uh, his dad's funeral possibly as an excuse. Oh, um, but he wasn't dead. He oh, right. or, no, no, he was. He did had passed, but Warrior hadn't spoken to him in like oh, yeah, years yeah. or something like that. Yeah. But so if Warrior doesn't know show those towns or Vince shows so, some type of sympathy, like you'll have to factor Warrior into the mix at wrestling. He'll, he'll Warrior against Undertaker could have been cool, but like Warrior is so washed at that point. Yeah, but well. I, and I also feel like Warrior is so the old era and it we're ushering in this new era at the same time that it just is so jarring to think of Warrior anywhere near the top end of that scene. But when you think about it like you're still yeah, having no, no, more, no more than Sid. Yeah you still have very colourful characters within there like you still have the likes of Goldust which has a bit more of an I adult scene to it. I think Sid, is, Sid it. is more and I think Warrior, you can use Sid more in, Warrior in, in the new era Warrior started painting his face kind of just he just had that black uh, yeah. colour around him um, he, he started wearing but a baseball still, cap but he's still promoing like Warrior yeah. like it's not like he's coming out there like did you hear that he I'm tried a real guy. that Vince tried to bring him in during the Attitude Era again as well and made him a massive offer probably that would have been very interesting same with Papa Shango did you ever see those uh, oh yeah I would have loved to have seen Papa Shango come back that was good like he got he got such fuck, he got such a bad rep but I think it's kind of like the premise of the character is so cool. They just executed it so yeah. poorly. He's knocking around in this era as well. Like, um, I mean, he's got. Is, is he in the nation? Yeah. I do, I, I, I don't know if he is at this point. I, yes, they only really sorry. started. Maybe he is, but uh, who else is in the nation? But, 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 oh, loads of it in the nation. Dilo but, uh, and all, point, these, but, uh, all these hype men. Yeah, and at that, well, I'm saying at that stage, who yeah, else would I have been? I think it's like Clarence Mason. You got PG13 as well. Who yeah. were the two 13, yeah. rapping, talking Southern white boys. Um, but that version of Nation of Domination at WrestleMania 13 was the the weird kind of multicultural mix of. Uh, Ron Simmons, Crush, and Savio Vega, who eventually all, crush, uh, yeah. just after this, they all split into like. It's changed the something there as well. No, the no, the splinter groups happened just off the back of this. And Los Pericos. Los Pericos, Disciples of Apocalypse. Love it. So you got the kind of like West Side gang Story War. teamed gang, and gang then you got like firm. the, the kind of low key Nazi bikers. Where was Mabel? Because Mabel had a pretty big push coming. Oh, in 95. I know he fecked up The Undertaker's face. He doesn't really come back until like 99. He doesn't come back until he's viscera. And like, you would have thought... um, They'd given up on him in this era. Yeah? Just given up on him. But where was he though? Just chilling. Was he in the... He wasn't in WCW. He was on a mission. He was on a mission. Yeah. Yeah? But like, you would have thought he would have been a good good heavy for the nation. Or just another... Potentially, I mean, that's, like, that is the only role I would have... I, know Mark, I, mean, I, think I know Mark Henry ultimately kind of ends up as yeah, that. Yeah, and they're, like, The Rock's about to come in as well. Like, you're you're just you're just going to be... You're a couple of months off, like, the peak nation. Um, but that feud was really hard at the time between them and Johnson. And again, LOD in was such a cool move. Mm. Uh, and then, you know, it's it's on in Chicago, Chicago Street Fight. Like, that, in fairness, that card is so much better than it was on paper going into it. it like It's just the main event is a bit... Sid literally shot himself in that main event. Yeah. 
Let Imagine the Undertaker <laughs> like doing the t- tombstone. I, well, um, I and, bet, and Sid's after completely oh shit in the fucking place. I bet you someone's after buying those trunks somewhere. Oh shit! Good thing yeah. he wore black trunks. Yeah. Yeah, could have yeah. been. Yeah, and Sid used but, to have like blue trunks and red trunks and stuff. Was there he any, used to mix it up back in his yeah. uh, justice days. But then he started shitting his, himself. And he started shitting himself a lot. Was there any argument for Austin Breck going on last? I would have held off personally. But you see, because they've like, been doing like that's I like actually, eight I'm just bereft feud. of any decent ideas for us, man. Yeah, but being, the ramifications. I'm kind of happy with Sid and Undertaker. Yeah, but the ramifications. That's a damning. Uh, I know. Yeah, damning, but the ramifications say of if Brett didn't have to drop the title to Sid, had that main event against Austin, and then almost promised another main event against Austin at WrestleMania 14, Brett wouldn't have left. Uh, I don't know about that. Do you not think, if he if he knew that he was going to return the favour, say, to Austin at WrestleMania 14, have a year-long build or whatever, Brett wouldn't have left. Yeah, but the contract still expires at the same time, and WCW, s- WCW still make the big offer, he still goes to Vince, Vince still looks at the rest of his roster and goes... Maybe. He would have. He would have stayed. He wanted to stay. He did want to stay. Yeah. Yeah. He would have stayed. But, he, but he was completely. But Vince, Vince. Vince screwed him and left him off. Mm. And then we're not getting into that. Uh, For another episode. Ninety-eight. WrestleMania fourteen. Brett and Austin. Ooh. Yeah. You would have done that there in the main event. I, yeah. So I would have had him WrestleMania thirteen. I mean, Michaels is so close to not making this main event anyway. Yeah. He has that, he has, a, Michaels has that great match. Uh, so it all stems, oh, I love, SummerSlam, I love you, had, you had Brett, you had Brett and uh, Taker, Michael spits at him. Then uh, you have Brett dropping to Beck and Sean, Sean and Undertaker, and then Sean and Austin. So Austin wins the, the Royal Rumble. Who came runner up in that? In, Terrible Rumble. In the 98 Rumble? Yeah. Oh, uh, eight, sorry. 98 The Rock. The Rock. Yeah. So, like, sometimes I always look at alternate WrestleManias as The Rock. And imagine that fabled Rock and Michaels match you could have got then. Yeah. I, I just, I loved the whole DX Tyson thing. I just wouldn't change it. Just wouldn't. It's, it, it's, yeah, it's, no, it really it just, it really, it was it's, cool, it's ingrained it was cool in my like, childhood. If you, like, yeah, it was cool. It, it logically, it actually it ended up making no sense. But then, you know, it's Mike Tyson. Like, who, you don't know what you're going to get with Mike Tyson. Yeah. Un- unpredictable, unpredictable fella most of the times. And it's also Austin going over Michael's, Michael's, oh, the finish, I love it. Yeah, I thought, I thought, and, and it was also like, it was kind of like, it was just karma for, I think, you know, when you really look at Michael's career and what it had gone through in the last couple of years and like, a lot of bad behavior and like, but like in fairness, he went out on his back and like that was his, that was his last, you know, that was his last major match for four years. Like he's knocked out by Mike Tyson. You know? He's trying to find his jaw. Yeah, he's trying, trying to find his jaw. Yeah. Chewing chewing gum. That works. It kind of was a perfect main event, and you can't change it. Was, it. it was all about the ascension of Austin. I think Michaels yeah. was probably maybe not the injured Michaels. I think Hart would have been great in there. Um, hard, Michaels hard was, hard Michaels was the he, right was the right hard, person. He hired Austin. This is if Montreal doesn't happen. I mean, working off the roster that's there, like who else could have coronated, you know, uh, Austin if Michael's, if his back injury was so bad at Royal Rumble that that was the end of him? The celebrity thing, like Tyson's, we have to assume Tyson is in it anyway because it's mania celebrity, it's Vince. I think so who, Sham- who, who else could Tyson I think Sham- sneakily go in with to turn on? Shamrock's your man there. Shamrock, yeah. I think, I think Austin Shamrock at that point if you want to do the coronation. Yeah. Shamrock, Shamrock look badass just walking around with the fucking title. Like, yeah. Let alone like, having a great match or whatever. And they have the history almost yeah. from WrestleMania 13. Yeah, he'll sh- he'll Shamrock, Mike Tyson. Yeah, I never tapped out Shamrock. The baddest on the planet. Yeah. He was dangerous man. I never tapped out. And you, yeah, you, you, you know, me. stack the odds against Austin going into Shamrock's it more so. Um, yeah, Shamrock, Sham- Shamrock has the whole corporation behind him even with Tyson uh, there. Potentially. I think like you would have just yeah. at that point maybe just pulled the trigger on Shamrock a little bit more. He was doing the Intercontinental title stuff with The Rock which was like cool. It was really good. It was a really good, well, really, really good feud, yeah. But I mean, if Michaels isn't around, I think he's who you plug in because surprisingly for, you know, such a, like a, a moment that was a turning point for WWF then in terms of you know, fighting back against WCW, it was still a pretty thin roster, like, to the point where a month beforehand when Michaels, you know, he was injured since Rumble and they were just mm. keeping him on ice until WrestleMania and the only person they can sub in for him in the main event at the last pay-per-view 
No, it's Savio oh, Vega. Oh, <laughs> I win, Savio it, Vega. I'd say they fucking wish Sid was around then. <laughs> Softball season, baby. Um, um, I, well, sure, you know, like it, you it, had Foley appearing three times at the Royal Rumble. That's how short it, it was. Like, that it, was Foley Funk against Outlaws, was it? 98. Yeah. 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 It was such a shallow roster at that point that, it's, like, it's, there's very few people who could have slotted in that weren't Michaels. I think I think Shamrock is probably as good as it's going to well, get. That's why there. he went looking for Warrior, I think, in 98. Like, probably, just probably need to show yeah. a few gaps. Yeah. Like, is there anybody that's on the free agency list that, not maybe to bring into main event, but like that you would insert into. You could do Owen Austin. I think Owen Austin potentially could have worked really well. Yeah. Like, did you see Owen as championship material? I oh. see. He was doing he, the whole screw job thing. He came, happened, he so came he back was, so, t- so hot with that yeah. black heart character. And Vince just didn't see him as any kind of a credible baby face. He was, was literally only booking him to take some heat off the... Yeah, well, with the nation as well. Which, which, which was stupid. Nonsense. Uh, he made the best of it as he usually does, but it was a dumb piece of booking. Um, at this WrestleMania, he's against Triple H for the European title. Not the worst spot, not the best spot. Mm. Yeah. Terry Funk could have, bit, could have done more with him. <laughs> Funk versus Austin main event WrestleMania. Would have been fucking yeah, badass. Like, yeah, the, like the... the the there was a match match. In us. You're it was like, not in Texas, was it? No. You're not plugging Chainsaw Charlie and that whole gimmick in too quick into the main event. It was such. Sure, he was go- retiring around that year. Yeah. So. It, like your your options are so fucking limited. In, the, in, in this era, like fucking Vader, just fucking you know in me? there. Jeff Jarrett, Ma- Steve like, Austin, you, Jeff Jarrett, Ken Shamrock, Vader. Ma- no, Vader's uh, his, his shine is gone. Then. Fa- 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 Farouk, like. Who could do you, you imagine? Who do you have? Could you imagine if Yoko kept in shape? Take her. Yeah, Yoko Kane. would have been great. Because they had Kane. No, Kane goes to, against the Undertaker shirt. Sure. Yeah, but like for we, we were not arguing with that, right? Yeah, we're not arguing with like that's that's Kane's like incoming. Moment. You know, that's a mm. that's the combination of Kane's massive moments. A uh, like if if Foley if Goldust was better booked if Foley uh, Foley wasn't could involved. have been doing more there particularly considering he was Cactus Jack at that point yeah. like it's mad that Foley he's and Taker gonna, met at, he's going to turn heel the night after as yeah. it is you know when he because he's it's, it's ma- the first challenger for Austin it's mad that Foley and Taker never met at Mania yeah. yeah, like you would think that. But they met a lot. Yeah, they met a lot. Yeah, too they much. met loads of other places. See them ever. Probably met backstage or something. Yeah, of times. probably. Oh, hey, Mick. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Yeah, we know their names. <laughs> we know their names. Um, so WrestleMania 14. Pretty happy with that. Austin mm-hmm. Michaels WrestleMania yeah. 15. Because it's such a good time to be a wrestling fan that it's hard to change anything. Like yeah. with Rock and Austin at WrestleMania 15, do you stick with that? Austin wins. Um, like I, I always thought this is the most unforgettable of the the trilogy of WrestleMania matches between WrestleMania 15, 17, and nineteen. No, not for me. Or because this is the beginning of the. I always thought it was the most forgettable. I don't know. I always felt it was inevitable mm. that they would come up against each other. Uh, even when you brought in Big Show, you had Vince win the Rumble. It was just always, I mean, like the, well, what was going the to, final uh, boss, as it turns out, is now his gimmick. But I always knew it, would, it had to end with Rock Austin. Like, but like, could you do Austin Vince? You potentially could, you could but have, they actually, yeah. they, you know, I think they did the more admirable thing, which was like you, you, you using that, yeah, using that to generate a really strong buy rate. Um, the month before WrestleMania and use it, use it to build to WrestleMania, which I think did actually. But the bigger story is Austin Vince. The bigger right, story, is, that yeah. is Austin. That's the match people want. But also, you're like, this is also, you know, you're making like the hottest heel in the business. A guy who is going to become like The Rock, you know what I mean? Everyone's favorite fucking tequila salesman, but like one of the biggest stars on the planet. But you, imagine, you could, imagine do, you could do Foley Austin face and face. Foley imagine, was so ima- hot coming into that. Imagine Vince. I'm still going with The Rock. I mean, I think this is The Rock's, well, actually, The Rock, in fairness, is going to main event the next two years. Yeah, The Rock loses, though. Yeah, but. So imagine, imagine Vince makes The Rock. Give him the title, right? So you don't maybe a Valentine's Day massacre. Rock beats uh, Foley like he does, and then Vince goes, "I'm not competing, but I'm the boss. You give me the title." Shawn Michaels comes out then, does his commissioner stuff, and is like, "Well, if you're giving up your Rumble spot, it goes to the runner-up." And then boom, you have well. Austin. <laughs> well, you have a big big show shows up at St. Valentine's Day massacre. So they have their match at Massacre, but like imagine that at Mania is all I'm trying to see. Yeah, I don't know. I want Michaels nowhere near it. Uh, and I want... Well, so, I want, well Sean Michaels I want, was the commissioner. I, I kind of like the way... I know he was, but I kind of like the way it happened. I felt... 
I always felt like when Rumble was happening, I always felt it, like when will Austin get his hands on Vince like and absolutely pummel him? I just thought it had to be mania. Then when they pushed it into Valentine's Day Massacre, it just started to make sense because Rock, that was around halftime heat. So Rock had beaten Foley. It, just, it, it was like this collision course of the two biggest stars in the company, the kind of, the heel who was a cocky heel who was kind of looked the part, looked like a real champion, walked like a champion. Austin the redneck beating up his boss, gets that out of the way. Then you got the two superstars. You've got Holyfield Tyson. Like you got the two guys finally coming together. Yeah, I think the only thing that kind of like, you know, took the sheen off it a little bit was that they had been programmed together throughout 90, uh, 97, you know, as the kind of almost finished versions of those characters. Right, like Stone Cold getting hot as a face, Rock getting hot as a heel and then they had that little intercontinental title feud. And I do think like them at WrestleMania 15 probably would have been a lot more effective if you hadn't done that. They did work that, that in as a quite well. Like they worked it in as in yeah, they, the it, history yeah. was there. Yeah. It wasn't that they And he they used it, it as, as also as motivation for Rock to join the corporate side. Yes. Well, you know? Yeah. What about uh, Foley? So Foley like has that I quit match gets absolutely fucking screwed out of it. Yeah. Like, he ends up as a guest referee here? It's a mess. He has a match with... Big Show? P Paul White. Yeah. Who I and think no was just about, about Chris and Big Show. I mean, like, he, you know, he's, he's this fucking huge star and massive get from WCW and one of the first kind of, like, organic WCW stars that Vince had poached. And you've got this guy who could be a real, like, you know, in a modern era, like an Andre the Giant style act who, you know, you just protect, like, literally what they're doing with Omos at the moment. Put him, put like, him. Like, apply that. Put him as if the. If only they'd done that with Paul Way, he was like 10 times the fucking athlete and the performer. Put him as the enforcer in the match. Oh, yeah, they should have just done something more proactive with him. Mm. Like, there was an argument, and I believe that, like, Michaels at the time was a big, uh, you know, he was a big proponent for. I think we talked about this before, but, yeah. like, he was. He just felt that coming off of you know, Royal Rumble season and Foley's world title been down up. Foley was, he's the absolute hottest at this point that he should have been slotted into the main event. And I think there's maybe an argument for that, but... I Triple think, threat? Potentially, but he ends up in the matches, or he's the referee anyway. Yeah. So he, he beats Paul White by like, big show, by DQ in the opening match. That, yeah, that's so Crazy, yeah. disrespectful yeah. of... It's also like, a lame use of the two of them. He's coming off the year of the Hell in a Cell. He's coming off the year of those fantastic runs. Like, that I Quit match is one of my favourite matches of all time. But it's disrespectful for big for Paul White as well, coming uh, in like, yo, what's what's ahead of me? I'm this big star. Come from how do you protect And him? then I'm losing, like, by DQ to Foley, like, in WrestleMania. Like, there's no... I know yeah. Foley's great, like, but... What's Triple H? They, they, they fucked over them both. They, they, like the two of them could have had Terrible a, booking. they could have had a great match potentially with uh, a great feud if something decent was booked, but it was just very ham faced. This is a this is a notoriously Vince Russo brained mm. WrestleMania. Um, that of course Vince McMahon went along with, but like the booking of it is a little bit all over the shop overall. Like you, we we've had a year of Triple H as the leader of DX now. So where is he at this point? Oh, he's up against Kane. And this is the, he turns heel on this card and he joins the corporation. Cool. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's a mess. Under, Undertaker's against a big boss man, which... Oh, when he hung him yeah. from the... And also, like, the brood are, like, the, the brood were on that. Like, it's it's an entire card where, like, Gangrel, Edge and Christian don't fucking wrestle because you're involved in some bullshit at the end of the Undertaker's match. Just a lot of waste opportunity. Great, like, so much great talent. Unlike 1998, this was a really stacked roster. But unlike 1998, none of it seemed to be booked logically and with an eye on the future. Because, like, the rest of 99 was a kind lot of, of that a mess. Card, and a lot of that card came together in the last week. Like, if you're watching, like, a lot of those feuds were nowhere to be seen a month out. So mm. it's really last minute. Oh, it's so much of it. It's, I mean, the tag, like, you know, can you remember who contested the tag team titles at WrestleMania, which which hallowed tag team fights? New Age Outlaws. Headbangers? Outlaws and someone. Outlaws beat. The big, big tag team challengers with the long running story that's leading up to the tag team title match at WrestleMania 15. Too cool? No. The team of D'Lo Brown and Test, who... Oh, they won the halftime heat. They won a halftime heat. Battle oh, no, Royal. Yeah, Battle Royal heat. To take thing, on yeah, Jeff yeah. Jarrett and Hart for the tight titles. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's how fucking bad the tight team yeah. division is. They put them there. together. And they have loads of teams. There's so many teams they can use. Yeah, it's just a randomly put together team of two guys. Why was I thinking of the headbangers? Were they at WrestleMania 14? 98. 98. Uh, yeah, WrestleMania 14 was. 
they uh, they, sure they, they won a match. It. I think they won a match at WrestleMania 13. There was a there was a four way match, and then I, I just the remember winner seeing of it gets a tag team title. Beaver shot. Cleavage and the other lad. I, this I, was the year of Beaver Cleavage again. It's like McMahon, like Vince McMahon's predilection for weirdly like 1950s style gimmicks and his or m- points of reference yeah, for like yeah. 1950s, like Johnny B. Bad or like Gorgeous Beaver George. Cleavage. Yeah. It was based on Leave It to Beaver. It was a popular American show from the 1950s. So WrestleMania 15, you're sticking with uh, Rock and... I changed the entire Austin. card, but I, I keep the entire, that. I changed the entire fucking card. I would just yeah. throw it all but out. I, but I would probably keep but that I main would, event. That main event I'd keep, yeah. Like it, it, I just, I, I, in my own head, I'm kind of like, what would, what would Brett do if he was here at this time? If Brett was there? Yeah. Like, who... I don't even know who's free agent at this, at this time. Everyone's either in WCW... In 99, or, Brett is not main event in WrestleMania. Like he's not I don't think No matter what way No but he's, he's probably like, having A cool match on yeah. the card With like The Rock Or exactly. fucking Ken Shamrock you know, Or Foley there's Foley or something, There's yeah. so many cool things You could be doing With Bret Hart here Putting yeah. over Big Show So do you want to go on To WrestleMania 2000 Sure Which yes, is WrestleMania yeah. 16 So it's a failed four way McMahon in every corner The first of its kind In WrestleMania history Yeah first WrestleMania Where the No heat, matches are singles No singles matches at all Whatsoever Apart from The Cat versus Terry Runnels was that a singles match? Some kind of like bullshit fucking pillow, ma- pillow fight. Really match. good hardcore fight match at that actually. Yeah, there's. I mean, there's so look that like that's a, a, the year two thousand uh, up until probably the last year was probably pound for pound the best year of WWE creative yeah. of all time. Like when you when you um, look. When you look at WrestleMania 2000, it looks like the year 2000. Like everything, it does. everything screams. Yeah. But like that was such a like creatively <laughs> the they logo had, is the green. Crea- colors. Creatively, they had such a strong year that year. But for whatever reason, inexplicably, inexplicably that WrestleMania just doesn't really stand up all that much. That's it's a re- cluster fucking matches. They actually have too many wrestlers. Yeah, they have yes. like way too many wrestlers. And they, you, yeah, but you don't need you don't need Foley coming back after just retiring. In that main event, right? Foley should not have been there. Chris no. Jericho should have been there. Should have. Yeah. Yeah, but I, 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 I mean, you, I'm, oh, I'm, redu- I'm reducing. Show. Yeah. Oh no, so, him out with Foley. That's what I thought. Yeah, but I'm but, reducing. So you instead of Foley, like I'm, I'm getting rid of Fatal Four Way 100. percent Yeah. Right. So. I, I, I just think Jericho was after coming in hot, and they just castrated him. Yeah, they did. You know what I mean? Yeah. They just fucked them over straight away. You don't need to click around for that to happen, but it does help to have Triple H and Sean Waltman backstage. Yeah. Like it's uh what does he end up doing at that? Uh, like Jericho just had a ropey run coming in. He had that first like China, you is know, it? he pissed off a lot of people. He was in a triple threat, I think, wasn't he? Uh, he? In that match he was in a triple that was the really messy triple threat for the European title and the intercontinental title. So Jericho took on Chris Angle? Benoit and Kurt Angle. Yeah. Oh yeah. And Benoit That's was the not worst position. Yeah, but someone wins the European and then someone else wins. Jericho yeah, wins and nothing. I, you know, yeah. and then like the European, like for whatever reason, the European title ends up in the last. Like I see title. No, Angle yeah. loses both his belts. Yeah, loses both. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Without being pinned or submit. Yes. So Benoit beats Jericho for the Intercontinental Title. Jericho beats Benoit for the yeah. European title. I enjoyed it at the time. Enjoyed it at the time, but it was a mess, and also the fact that like they were putting the European title over the Intercontinental. Weird, title. weird, yeah. And you know, th- like in the, in this era as well, it was pretty. It's not like modern day AEW where you're like, which one of these belts is more important? You knew the Intercontinental <laughs> yeah. was the well, secondary well, belt, well, and then the European title was a wrong below that um that well, was where, where you, would you when you're saying Jericho was I know Jericho started hot and then en- ended up in a few bad booking uh moments but like where where would you put him he's not in the main event of WrestleMania after like eight months in the company why not though ah he's not like we, we, we talked before about like bringing in star like look at what Yoko no, did. you do like he an was, Austin Brett thing you like you put him in a really yeah, but hot Jer- match Jericho, not was, main event. Jericho was pushed hot like our Yoko was pushed hot right out of the gate. The hottest match for Jericho in that card, quite honestly, genuinely was like keeping him on. No, I put Angle ahead no, of Jericho. No, I'm just. I'm no. I'm like. Li- I'm literally would just be doing Jericho and Angle. Like that's yeah. that's it. That's all it needs. Or Jericho Benoit. No, I don't. I don't. I don't think I want to see that. I think Benoit was so he was just in the door. Um, there's other people you could have put in. I would have put like Taz was just in the door and he ended up in the Taz ends up in the hardcore invitational. Yeah. But, you but know, this is back to John's point. There's so many people. There's on the so roster. many people. Like like They're you all know hot. like you're looking at like like. You know, as we said, ninety eight, where the booking is fucking impeccable, but the the roster is so thin. Then you look at nineteen ninety nine, where like the 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 roster is is heating up, but the booking's all over the place. And now you got like really good booking, and then you just have like have a, Taz and Jericho go ahead. Complete, why not? I like a complete surplus of of stars. For me, the hottest feud at that point, 
and I think the one that they should have done, I think the main event of that should have been Hell in a Cell retirement match, Cactus Jack, Triple H. That's so what happened at No Way Out? Happened Why, at... Like they've had this the best best Royal Rumble main event ever, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, even I really like John Cena and Umaga's last man. That was a classic. Yeah. yeah. But it, I think the, this one re and it really like stands the test of time as well. You know, like twenty four years on, that was so hot. They could have just taken a breather, let Forty retire in the main event. First main event. Do or the WrestleMania. Have, or he doesn't Do even have to be Cactus him. Jack. He's saying, I'm Mick Foley. Or yeah, Mick Foley. That's, that's a WrestleMania idea. main event. Yeah. Like, you, you can say what you want about Triple H versus The Rock in that era. Or, but at that point, uh, Austin is out at this at this point. No feud going into the year 2000 was hotter than Cactus Jack Triple H. So what is and Triple H was at the peak of his power. This is once again, Mick Foley, like, having a banger Royal Rumble match. Yeah. This is once again, Mick Foley, like, having a banger Royal Rumble match. And then... You know, kind of not being an he's an afterthought though for Mania. He is, but he's also put in there because he I wants think, to have I, his Mania moment. No, I like that's their excuse they're using. Like yeah. what what's happening there is that like they were lining up Triple H and The Rock. And mm -hmm. I think just what happened was that the uh you know, Foley and Triple H got so fucking heated and there was so much investment in that that they kind of they kind of blew their load on it's exactly what they did the previous uh, year yeah, of yeah, Rock. I know, yeah, yeah. Like I, I think they real they realized like after that retirement match, they're like, Jesus, this was the hottest thing we had, and we could have prolonged this for another month. And I think putting Foley into the fatal four way was just a means of like keeping the tread of their hottest feud mm. going yeah. into the WrestleMania main event. But diluting it though. But they're leaving it down by the like, process. But, also yeah. if but you why have that rumble finish with Big Show and Rock as well? I know you're kind of trying to but make see, Rock is also down. very, very hot. Like, so it's, it's difficult to, to relegate Rock away from that main event. Imagine, imagine you have uh, <laughs> Cactus Jack wins the title, Big Show wins the rumble. He has the lads that went from the opening the year before. Man, that, would man, yeah. that, that would stink. That would stink. That would stink. Big Show stinker. against Mick Foley. Yeah, I'm all over. I mean, this is only this is going to be Big Show's only ever WrestleMania main event. It's Mick Foley's only ever WrestleMania main event. But it's kind of like his, you know, getting his take, gold take. star. If you want take. to give Jericho, if you want to give Jericho a moment, you could bring Rock back, fight Jericho, build a big feud there coming in. I know they had a few. They had a few when it few started. Things, yeah. yeah, when it started. But then that could link back Mania feud. Takes Rock out of the main event. Then you can have your Foley, Triple H main event. And fuck. fuck or not even show. Foley, Triple H. What you could have is the American Badass comes back sooner. No. Right? American Badass no. come back sooner. No. Cost Foley the, the show. title. I'm happy with him to not be there. Cost no. Foley the title at Hell in a Cell. Forces Cactus Jack to retire. Mick Foley, Undertaker, WrestleMania 2000. No, but I mean, that's that's not that's two thousand Taker. He's not fighting you, in like two thousand. That's one of the few WrestleManias that Taker isn't. At, yeah, and like imagine him tying Foley to the back of his motorcycle. And he and wasn't going to be off. probably like nobody was in a singles match at that WrestleMania. There's so many people you could have put Undertaker against there though. Like you literally could have been pulling out spear guys, and they would have been perfect for the Undertaker. Mm. You know, Undertaker. Oh, yeah, imagine Undertaker Red, Taz. Benoit, Gu Benoit, Guerrero, Benoit, Guerrero, Raven, Taz, Raven. Raven, Tess. so Raven is like, so underrated and like Test oh, Big Show. I, I love I, Raven. I have, a, I have a big thing about Raven uh, coming up soon, but what you like? I uh, just an argument for him in 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 some not maybe oh. main event, but we'll get to it. Oh uh, yeah, we're he, getting there nearly WrestleMania seventeen. Uh, yeah, mm. I was so yeah, like WrestleMania. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry, seventeen. 17. Sorry. sixteen is the one we've all agreed on, haven't we? Anyway, I'm going for what it, have yeah. we agreed on? I'm I'm I'm, Jack, I'm just doing, I'm doing Triple H Cactus Jack with a McMahon in every corner, two McMahons in each, in each corner. Have them all no, going up against Let them be other. in other people's corners. A McMahon in every cards. corner, and there's two corners with no wrestlers, so a McMahon the, has like to the choose the to switch over to another so wrestler. In, McMahon's are so integrated into like the DX storyline, and you know the ministry and the corporate ministry. All that stuff is going on. That's where they didn't need to be in the main event. Vince. Shane McMahon and X Pac. That's my Linda that. McMahon impression, but Vince. That's my Linda. That's Linda, isn't it? Oh, very good. Yeah. No, like just you know, like like. It's unreal. Let let the McMahon's let the McMahon's <laughs> go off and do their thing. This is the era where they're like getting really heavily involved in all of the WrestleMania like big storylines, and, and then that that leads into WrestleMania seventeen, where they have the big fucking McMahon melodrama between Shane O'Mac, Vinnie Mac, Linda is there in her wheelchair. I really liked it. Stephanie is there. You know, it was class. It was deadly. <laughs> it was deadly. It was like. Fucking unreal. <laughs> and the whole Dolly CW shit behind it. Yeah. Did I um, like it? No, I, li I, know. I, li I liked it. I think it's just... Uh, 
Yeah, the WCW stuff was a bit, a bit you know, when they, they showed all those boys so up, in the, up in the crowd and you're like, who the fuck are half these? Are we yeah. on to this one now yet? I suppose, so yeah. we, got, we ended up with Cactus Jack and Triple H. Yeah, cool, whatever. Yeah, but not everybody agreed on that necessarily. Yeah, we don't have to all agree. It's not, yeah, but it's not that you don't agree, it's that who are the alternatives? Like, what do you do with Jericho? Like, I don't could, care could, about... Could you give Jericho a bigger fucking push and I then Jericho think... goes against... The Jericho Rock. against Kurt Angle, Chris Benoit against Taz. You I think know. arguably Angle should would be in the main event ahead of Jericho. In what? In two thousand? Well, why not? Or just like, have like, a, like if you've seen Jericho should be in the main event, I'm like, well, why not yeah, Angle? Yeah, okay. Have Angle have because they both debuted roughly around Angle's the same a bit time. sooner, wasn't he? Jericho's August and Angle is November. Yeah. Oh, Angle's after. Fuck. Angle yeah. Angle's November and he gets handed his first loss. To, by Taz no, but he still official. says he's undefeated yeah he was not yeah it wasn't official so you could have Taz and Angle going head to head at Mania with oh yeah yeah no class it was deadly like Taz the, was the so undercard but with Taz Guerrero Benoit Angle so stacked Je- like, oh. so stacked and they're all in like tags and six and man tags and the, the TLC is that that year yeah, that's it. oh no the ladder match the ladder, ladder match, match. Yeah, yeah Edge Christian the Hardys the Dudleys oh my god I miss it I miss it so much. For this, well. All of those are Hall of Famer. Practically that whole card is Hall of Famer. Mm. What, WrestleMania 2000? Practically. Bull Cannon. Yeah. Oh, now Steve we're Black, that. Steve Blackman. Had yeah, well, like to think about that hardcore invitational now for a second. Rodney, uh, get, uh, Rodney and Pete uh, Gas. Yeah, it means she, means she passed here all of our famers. Yeah. What was the tag match at First ballot as well. What was, de- 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 it was that. TLC. That, 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 that oh, yeah, match. sorry, yeah. sorry. Um, so, we go on to WrestleMania 7. Yeah, okay. Greatest wrestling event of all time. Yeah. I know some people are saying AEW Revolution that's just gone has been, which is a load of harsh shit, but no, it's WrestleMania 17. <laughs> uh, <laughs> WrestleMania 17 for me, it's still pretty perfect. I'm just not turning Steve Austin heel. I'm figuring out some other shit to do for the next couple of months. That's all I'm doing. Right? Don't turn Austin heel and actually do a good invasion. Imagine. All you need to do. Instead, that, that's how they finish the show. The invasion. I had a fucking proper fucking think about this there. Earlier, and I forgot. But um, if yeah. WrestleMania finished with a proper invasion, where all the big stars come out and do something fuck Can up the main event, Austin, WrestleMania. like Austin, Austin and Rock have this absolute war, and then Bill Goldberg's music hits at the end of it. Goldberg, NWO, they all come out, and Austin and Rock have to join together like well, fucking this is, Avengers, this is how you, like, 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 like Avengers. There's so much better stuff you could have done with that card. Down to finish it, did you? And as you you look at subsequent like months, you know the invasion angle gets fucked up. By the end of the year, Austin has uh, turned face again. No, here now, we, he, we miss some gold potentially. But here's like, what I thought of: Austin accepts. Here we go. Vince's offer, right? And they he turns heel, but then stuns Vince. There and then. There and then, after he wins the title, and that's when he declares he's with WCW. Why? Why? Because he Austin. ultimately joins WCW. Why, Steve? In the invasion. Yeah, well, and he, sh- like he, he should came, never have done that. He came impression. from WCW. He's doing it because he hates fucking Vince and all the shit that he's putting yeah, through. Yeah, but he hated WCW as well. Yeah, I know, but he hates Vince more. I think we should save this for the take? inevitable rebooking the invasion angle, which in fairness... <laughs> yeah, 100%. Would, but like a lot, of a, my, a lot of my WrestleMania 18 is based around rebooking the, the invasion. Mm. Jesus, we gotta we. There's a lot we, to we gotta re- give we, that its own. We yeah. gotta give that its own episode. So for all the people, so who I'm not changing this main event. I'm not changing. Well, I no- am changing. I'm changing the order of it because the gimmick battle royal should have been the main. Yeah, it should have been the main. Iron Sheik should have been the closing shot of WrestleMania yeah. 17. Okay, he famously it. won that match because he was the only participant who was unable to take <laughs> the bump required to leave the ring. He couldn't go he over. He was too broke down. Oh, yeah. Famously. Like, you can't do it. Mm. Slaughter should have never come <laughs> like, in at like, Cobra Clutch. Well, obviously, oh, yeah, like Slaughter should win it. That'd be a feel good pop. Then the fucking Sheik. Oh, no. This fucking scheming uh, fucking it would have went uh, over it would have been fucking foreign went, villain from the 70s I like, fucking humble you yeah. shit it would have went over him better than fucking Austin turning on Vinny definitely like such a in, perfect man in Texas though. wasn't it yeah it was in Texas, Texas. Uh, but, but like, and then he went on his little two man power trip so I, so I would change that very last moment of that main event but I wouldn't change who's in the main event and all that hype leading into it the Limp Bizkit video the well whole, that's what we remember it for yeah it's because of the fucking and the sit down interview the sit down interview is unbelievable and De- like Deborah didn't really need to be involved oh, in that stuff that. No, that, was that, weird. Weird, that was yeah. weird that was again Nonsense. Vince McMahon brain book and trying to like wedge in things that nobody needs and nobody's asked for and 
Steve, I never asked for her to be in my corner. Yeah, it's like, well, no one did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the stop. It's grand, lads. Just let, yeah, just let The Rock and Steve Austin, uh, two of the biggest stars yeah. you've ever had. Just yeah, let them just let them have a wrestling match. Right, and a belt. Like, it's and you, you, you look at, so Big Show, like that fucking hardcore match is one of my all-time favorites. Between Big Show, Raven, and Kane. Oh, the, the triple threat. Oh, that match. is that year, isn't That's it? Yeah. I'm confused. He ne- Raven nearly shuts off the power of the That's whole a fucking fantastic so good. match. Mm. And it was, it was really cool. I loved it at the time just seeing Raven coming in, having like against two big kind of main event dudes. <laughs> Getting the shit kicked out. Yeah, but like he's the champion. He's there. Yeah. He was well presented. And again, it's regarded as the best WrestleMania of all time. And it's, it's because cool. of matches like that. Raven because is the Because you undoubted highlight of Raven's uh, final WWF run. TLC. He, he, Raven is the uh, most decorated. WWEF champ of all time. Yeah, Did oh, you know he that? won the many, uh, that many hardcore. No titles. one has won more titles than he Raven was winning, in WWF. He was winning the hardcore title five or six times Some, a week. I, in I interviewed years, Raven yeah. once, and I told him that, and he didn't know. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, he did. He came back. Uh, what was he like actually interviewing? Him? Uh, so weird. We were going in, and we knew that he goes off on tangents, yeah. so we had a little schedule to keep him on, and all these little segues to get back. We lost it after like ten seconds. Yeah, but we class like just listen. It was like this is Raven. Yeah, it was unreal. Yeah. Scotty Flamingo. Unreal. Um, he came back. In the Jerry Lawler Taz feud, um, that was that was that, his, that was his that was official his debut. Raven debut. His debut. That was yeah. his Raven debut, and then just went downhill from there. And Vince famously apparently well, I wants I that was a strap match, wasn't it? Taz Jerry. Can you can, so. can you go downhill if you if, you're, corners, if your debut corners. is part of a, a feud between two guys who want to be color commentators? Yeah, mm. and yeah. like. I, I think was it Vince who famously said, "Who the fuck hired Raven?" Who, no, who the fuck hired Johnny Polo? Is that yeah, what he said? Yeah, because yeah. yeah. <laughs> apparently back, b- apparently back in the nineties, uh, you know, uh, he was a writer and stuff Raven. for WWE. Through the magazine, he wore, he wore, yeah, like no, Russo, he wore, kind yeah, but he of. wrote he creative, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Vince wrong. was really fond of him. He was coming. He's in two creative meetings, and the second time he knew he would never go back to another one. What Boy. did he do? No, he just found it and just he couldn't tolerate it. Apparently, like Vince, Vince was really hot on for ages and then started him because he was bringing Shane out partying. Yeah. Taking drugs. That's also, crack, yeah. Yeah. Getting him into grunge records. <laughs> but like, he was such a fucking cool, like he was ECW. WCW was, he had a bit of WCW stink on him because then they did the whole, oh, he's actually a rich boy kind of thing. Do you re- anyone remember that? No. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. In 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 WCW, I'll tell you. This, I'll tell you this much about Raven. I liked his WCW. I liked his ECW. I liked, I liked his early WF. I liked it. I remember like one. Like Johnny Polo. One of my most distinct memories about that was like I was getting, uh, you know, I was getting into wrestling magazines. I was getting like Power Slam magazine at the time, mm. and uh, I was reading the ECW sections. And I hadn't seen any ECW. This is like nineteen ninety fucking six, so I didn't have a clue what it looked like. But I was just reading the accounts of it and reading the accounts of the shows. And like Raven was like the star of it. Um, I kept reading so much about Raven, but I'd never seen any pictures of him. And then when I finally saw a picture of him, I was like, this is Johnny Polo. <laughs> this is like the weird preppy, uh, uh, you know, rich kid, rich kid manager to Quebecers. And all of a sudden he was this like, uh, he was this gloomy, <laughs> like Grunge, misanthropic yeah. Goth Johnny f- Avenger. Polo. I tell you, I laughed that shit up when I saw that. Like at it the was time. like I remember, thought that was so cool. Remember when Tenzai came back and people yeah. were just like that? That's a train. Yeah, did that? That's with, a shaving a train. They did that with Wyatt as well. I always hate that when the marks are kind of shouting. Oh, they're the husky. Yeah, yeah, nonsense. Yeah. Like, um. Anyway, yeah, like yeah, fucking. You know what? Raven should have been the main event. Yeah, Raven main event. But like. <sighs> Raven versus Raven was <laughs> Raven was a fucking like a Ra- star. Raven Undertaker he was a star. but the thing is you look at what they fuck why would Vince really pissed me like but it's not okay no it's we're not. not you look at Big Show you look at Jericho I know ultimately it all turned out well but Big Show Jericho yeah but you don't the radicals they yeah, all came but... over before Raven and you're like, but what does oh. Vince do he, he gives the really good debut and then he has yeah then they, yeah, then they sink or swim for a while he usually drops them back for a bit and then it's about Going back to the top letter. Like, if to be fair to Vince, and I'm <laughs> a very, very difficult thing to say, but the four roster is so stacked. Like, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, you can't put Raven in with Austin. Rock. I'm not saying put him in with Austin. I'm just you saying. You can't put him in with even with. With Jericho, Angle, Benoit, like he's not even at that yet. That whole card's pretty perfect. He will be at some well, point, but he's got a good. No, he spot. won't. He'll never no, be. Sorry, again. He is an exception, but like most would get there. Well, he went on to the NWA World Title. He won that. He did in in TNA. So that was that was cool. that was cool. Yeah. yeah, I think he beat Rhino. He beat Rhino. Can't remember. I think so. He had it for like a, a month, but um, was he the first? No, no, Ken Shamrock was unanimous. 
Well, not the NWA. No, like the it's, it's TNA. The, it's the NWA title. Yeah. No, but the, no, I know he's not the first NWA champion. But Ken Shamrock won the TNA title for the first when it became T. On the, the first, first, the first pay per view. He was thing the that first world champion in the TNA, yeah. and then it went to our truth. I digress. Run the truth killings. Okay. Yeah. So main event of WrestleMania in 17. 2001, 17. Yeah, we're going with uh, Steve Austin, Raven. Steve Austin, 100%. Steve Austin, ECW Raven. kind of... Raven yeah. wasn't high enough on that cars. Mm. But that would have been a really good year to do Undertaker Raven, though. That would have been nice. Yeah, sure, he had Triple H. And he's going to have him like two times in the future. The, yeah. Like, they had two more matches at WrestleMania than they had fucking foresight, have. Vince. Uh, anyway. 2002. Uh, 2002 should have been the combination of the invasion. So you have you like the NWO have just debuted. You're on, on, like rebook. I think we should really save rebook and the invasion because there's so many other things to do. But please do tell. It should have been the combination of the invasion, like uh, the whole twelve months. Here we go. Go on. Yeah, it should I, have been. Yeah, I don't do Rock and Hogan. I do Rock and DDP. Yeah, I'd love the that. two people's champs. That's I good. do. I do Hogan and Austin. Yeah. Um, Rey Mysterio try and bring him in a bit before because he's synonymous with it so you could put him up against fucking Scotty Steiner Scotty Steiner he, well he comes in in 2003 no he comes in that year at the end of that and then Survivor Goldberg, Series Goldberg that year. next year get him in, get him in a few years there uh, no he does months. he comes in the Survivor Series after WrestleMania 18 uh, Scott Steiner is yeah it, uh, November 2002 yeah and, and Ray came in in June 2002 or something yeah he came in for SummerSlam that year yeah so you could have Ray so and Scott Steiner so you get these guys in a bit quicker like, like just pay them the Luger. money that time more get them out time more contracts yeah get Luger in. End, and Flair no, like, no, one, so, no one puts well, the Flair's in, in Flair's, Flair's, yeah, Flair's, Flair's in. in right so you have uh, you have he? you have Flair Flair yeah he's in he comes in the night after the invasion oh, finishes does, yeah he comes in as the general manager. So you have Flair in there. You have Flair and Taker, Clash of Generations, fucking brilliant match. I love it. Aaron Anderson is involved. Then you throw Luger. in, you throw in uh, Austin and Hogan, which is the match that people wanted to see initially. You do DDP versus The Rock. You fucking throw a bit of ECW flavor in there as well. Who'd you put Hall and Nash against? Hall and Nash. Radicals. Well, Hall and Nash that could go up against fucking. Well, I know Hall and Nash against Benoit Jericho because they were the two small well, guys who never got. Over I would, I would put Benoit and Jer- I would put, I would fucking stack that WCW side so much that all the guys that worked with them previously, Big yeah. Show, Jericho, you don't, you don't put fucking Angle with them because like they did. Mm. Angle went to, uh, with the, on the yeah. Evasion side, so you keep Angle on the WWF side with the likes of Taker, The Rock. Kane, Triple H. You leave all the fucking... Try and bring Foley back. You leave all the other fucking guys that... Uh, they were, you, you they put, were like the end... They were trying to be the infiltrators. They knew what was coming, basically. They knew yeah. Shane McMahon was going to buy you out. That's why the Radicals came over earlier. That's why Jericho came. That's why Big Show we're, we're, Yeah, we're, getting on, we're definitely getting so far to rebooking the evasion. But I, I think the ideal version of that, WrestleMania, is like a payoff to all of... The, a well-told invasion story mm. that starts with WCW, WWE, brings in ECW, and then I think kind of, like, at this point, the culmination of it generally is kind of like... This is where Ray... Well, it should, at that point, I think it just should just be it should be NWO as the final... Jericho versus Goldberg like, main event. Well, no, they're both WCW sites. See, Jericho would never be WCW. He hated it. Like he's he, so, I think he's so he's so part. I, I think because he, he was part of the WWF like, side you can, on the you, Survivor you can Series. Do, yeah, you, and you he can should do be. a cool thing with the radicals where they're like these kind of like double agents and they're like sent in as WCW agents and they spend the year beforehand. Yeah. Like that would have been great. Uh, Jericho, I think, was just there a little bit, maybe too long to justify mm. that. But Big Show, does he turn back? Probably. Yeah. After, after all, what, after all, what did he do on this card? Was he even? Was he out? Was he what's this WrestleMania eighteen? This is nine. No, 18. We're on 18. 18. DDP goes up against Christian. Mm. I like that. Yeah, but I... I mean, it could have been something. DDP could have been, so could have been dead. Like yeah, Book, it should have been better. Booker T, something should have been better there. Where's Booker T? Booker T is against Edge, and the, it's all about... Is that hair? It's about who got a Japanese shampoo oh, commercial. Christ. <laughs> it's a really bad way to have two... It's a really bad way to have two talented wrestlers fight. Yeah, like... It's not... Like, it's, it's, it's a decent card, but it's just like... It, so many missed opportunities and so many like and then if you had a pushed things they could if you had it like had WCW trying to go up against WWE right 
and they're going fucking head to head. And then you had Paul Heyman like, fuck this. And he just throws in his ECW guys every now and again to cause absolute mayhem. And I'm talking proper ECW guys. Yeah. Not just the the sprinkle of a few. And N- when we're talking New Jack. No. Yeah, but Sandman definitely. Sabu. But when it, and when you're talking WCW, like have all your Sean O'Hare's and your Chuck Palumbo's and your Mark Jindrax all coming in. Have your the new blood yeah. in with the, the main guys and then the main the guys are there. Rams. Oh, you definitely need a little bit of old blood in there. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, so you have your old blood. Like, if Sting doesn't come, Sting doesn't come. If Macho doesn't come, Macho doesn't come. If fucking Let's. Luger doesn't come, thank God. <laughs> but if... Uh, if you bring in all these old guys, the New Blood and the Millionaires Club, as they were called in WCW, and yeah. they were all backed up together, that would have been unreal. Yeah, I like I, I, yeah, I do feel like there's probably an overarching invasion but, story. Like, that's like, what Mania should have been. I like this Chris Jericho Triple H main event is a load of wank. Like in, the, it, like if, you know, if, over Stephanie's fucking. See, no, if but that it's era the way it's, had this year as booking, I think we'd be looking at yeah, they would run a pillar to post. Like that would be a story, and they would start at WrestleMania in two thousand and one and run until two thousand and two with good booking and logical booking, and you could have got a year out of that invasion. But like it's so dead in the ground. Yeah, but let, yeah, let's assume that everything has to happen up until Rumble at least. And then you can change it because if you're changing invasion, I think like John, you, there's 25 episodes we could do over and over again. And we will. But, and we will. But I think Jericho Triple H had potential to be amazing. I think, yeah, like I think that just the way to do it was the opposite of what they did. I think the like what would have been really cool in that era is the idea of Stephanie actually leaving Triple yes, H. Yes, 100%. Mm. And Jericho being her new guy. Instead of Triple H. And then H. everybody wanted to see Triple H. Like, what yeah. they, they presented Jericho as this kind of weird... It started like subservient. that. Subservient. It started like yeah. that. And apparently that Triple was, H put, put it to bed. Yeah. Je- Jericho always said that that was the, the plan was, in terms of storyline, because they had built it for so long through a previous Jericho Triple H feuds, except now the roles were reversed and Jericho was the heel, Triple H was the baby face. But the idea that Stephanie, who Jericho has been calling the worst names for like fucking over a year at this point. Um, falls in love with this guy. Falls in love with this guy. Yeah, she and loves then, it. Yeah. And apparently Triple H just didn't believe that his wife would leave him for someone, even fictionally. Oh, so, yeah. He married her. Uh, uh, dr- she, he, she was uh, comatose in a limousine in Vegas. No, but yeah. no, that was a ruse. Uh, what? That, that was, was a ruse. ruse. He didn't actually do that. Well, because yeah. if he did, course he, would, corrected. he would and should be in jail. Yeah. yeah, but he didn't. Did him and Test ever have that massive blowout? No, because no. again, yeah, Triple H was. Yeah, they really should have. That was that was. That's the, a mania match there. That killed Test. The he Test was finished test. after that. He did everything for like Sheamus that he should have done for Test. Mm. Fucking years previously, and he was just too threatened by Test at that time. I just thought of uh, someone who else made a comeback in two thousand and two when you're asking me about Hall and Nash, Shawn Michaels. Mm. Oh yeah, he comes back that year. Yeah, he does man. Him slotting in that mania would have been. There's so many tasty combinations. You could have, you could have Triple H and Sean but honestly, against fucking Hall and Nash. That's WrestleMania 18. I mean, the, That'd be the, good. You know, and that's NWO and DX. Like, yeah, you could you could have just done. Yeah, all we that got there. that with Sting. But I, I I do think this is again this is rebooking the invasion ever so slightly. But like the idea of you know WCW having failed. And then the NWO coming in as like the next kind of big bad. The next wave. The next wave. Mm. And then that one really like being a poison because Vince is the one bringing them in. I don't know if you I wouldn't say that. WCW Lisa. have failed. They are, they're failing. And then this, this, it's Shane that brings them in. Shane brings in the NWO. Yeah. So like yeah, all throughout, yeah. all throughout. Or even better. It's just Eric Bischoff. Yeah. All you know, th- like, oh, 100%. All throughout the. debuts this year. All to oh, no. 2003. No, he's next year. Actually. All, all throughout the. 17 like you'll start getting the so you start off with Booker T and DDP and then you bring in your Scott Steiners then you bring in your Rey Mysterios all part of the same fucking thing uh, just all getting there a little bit earlier and you start sprinkling it all you have your big warfare you have your turns you have your guys siding with WCW and then as it looks like WWE are getting the upper hand no 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 here's fucking NWO here's Hogan Hogan goes up against Austin you have Triple H and Shawn Michaels who comes back early going up against National Hall, Hall. And, yeah yeah that's there, nice there's, there's Mania you have your Flair versus Taker I know we're rebooking all, everything but you have Flair versus Taker you have Mysterio going up against imagine Mysterio RVD and Jeff Hardy like mm-hmm. they, they, that's your little ECW influence yeah it would never happen though. 
just with the contract, would, the would, contract situation. Personally, just never this kind happen. of like when we're trolling, that's all I would, I would have done. Jer- I would have done Jericho Flair and Sting. Did you do Sting Undertaker there as well? Sting Undertaker. Just things coming. Yeah. Into. Jericho Flair is an interesting one. Yeah. Never really thought of that. I do that Jer- Jericho Goldberg. They they do have a match, don't they? Who Jericho and Flair? They, they not WrestleMania. No, no, not at WrestleMania, but they do go they, up against. I, I do Jer- yeah. Jericho Goldberg. Jericho goes over. Kill Goldberg. <laughs> no, but they had it. They had that at Bad Blood. That was then. He was Jericho's. He was Jericho was Goldberg's next opponent after The Rock, and I always remembered at Bad Blood. I think this is the one where Nash and Triple H have the Hell in a Cell match, and there's a guy dressed as a tiger in the front row. <laughs> there's a guy in a big tiger suit. That's that's, it. that's all I remember. Do from you know it. his name? Can we track him down? Tony. Can we, get, can we get him on here? Tony the Tiger. tiger oh, it's always the Tony when it comes to tigers. Oh, Allison bastards. So WrestleMania 18. Yeah, it's really hard to kind of go into. I just you. I, I just think I think a, like a better book version. Do of you do tri- Rock and Triple, Triple H, H and though, and you do Austin and Hogan? Oh, I, I can't know. believe that the I, I, Rock too. Austin was perfect for eighteen. Are we, where are we now? For WrestleMania eighteen. I'm so confused. Eighteen. Oh, sorry. WrestleMania eighteen. You have Triple H and you have Chris Jericho. Chris but you Jericho. also have Hogan and Rock, which I think is a main event in any other yeah. era. But I think that's what, that's what I said. Yeah. I, 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 look, it's all about the booking, and I think honestly, think like where where Hogan and and the Rock was was kind of fine, and then like you've just got Jericho, Triple H, just book it well. Like give it so much heat. Like this man, I would I would I would love a heel Rock after winning that title. Uh, the, the the it's always. Do you not like Rock Hogan as a match? No, I do. I just think I wanted Austin Hogan. Well, you didn't get a chance. Yeah, I know. You're not going to get him now. No, but that's, that's, I get in my head. But like Rock Hogan was, it's one of the greatest moments in wrestling. It wasn't your originally pitched match. Like, I know, know yeah. I, like, who does Hall go up against then if, if Austin goes Hall's up? Hall's better in a tag team combo there, really, in that era. But in fairness. Well, he's in Nash. Is Nash injured? Yeah. yeah, he's injured. Yeah, he. I actually liked Hall. Austin, weirdly. I thought like it yeah, took, was one of the best Thunder Cells of all time. I, yeah. yeah. I weirdly yeah, liked I, it. And actually, I thought, I thought it, Hall was it weak. If anything, I felt Hall was weak going in and then weak to finish. But. It could it could have been better booked, most definitely, but uh, mm. yeah. So you're sticking with Jericho and Triple H? I actually am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's an argument for Hogan Rock, but I again, go, I'm still sticking with that thing of the you know the title should be in the main event. No, I go Hogan Rock main event and uh, just a better booked Triple H Jericho anyway. Okay, I'm just I'm just sad that TDP and Booker T didn't get their just rewards for taking the yeah. chance. I know, and DDP should have away. stopped at all that stalking. Then shouldn't he? <laughs> like, I, well, I always hate about that trip or that Undertaker storyline. Is like my wife is getting stalked, so I'm going to bring her to the place where the stalker is, which is the wrestling arena. And he started trapping yeah. around with Sarah. And then they just kicked the fuck out of him at SummerSlam. That I was Randy, that. Randy Savage's logic with Elizabeth back in the day anyway. That's why he used to lock her in the dressing room. And how did that turn out? I don't know. Should be safe here amongst all the wrestlers. What can possibly go wrong? <laughs> Macho in a company run by Vince McMahon. Why didn't Ma- well, we all know the purported reasons why Macho wouldn't have come back, but... Well, he, 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 say it, Shane. Say it. He had sex with Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> And that's allegedly, allegedly, yeah, because she was very young at the time. Oh, was it? Was she edit that? It's got creepy. Macho Man and Triple H, yeah, I'd love that. <laughs> A blood feud way to happen. Oh, oh. Unreal. That, that'd be yeah. fucking unreal. I make Matt wait which corner is Stephanie in. <laughs> Just pull Jericho out of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Macho. Yeah. Macho. All the way. And, ooh, yeah. Because he was just after coming off all that Spider Man business, too. So uh, he like, was mm, hot. Yeah. Bone saw. Bone saw. Bone saw, Macho. Man. Yeah. Match, I mean, uh, the Triple H and Macho Man is a match I don't think we got in any format ever. For good reason. Maybe in WCW. But when. No, uh, I think they. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe they crossed paths. Maybe they did, he got an old squashy squash. Yeah. Little squash arenies for Triple H. Uh, Paul Levesque. Uh, macho, macho, did he go TNA? He did. For he did one he match. Like briefly showed up. Yeah. yeah, briefly showed match. That was his last match. Yeah. Teamed with Jeff Hardy and they but, were they were very weird yeah. combinations in TNA. But he was the he was Triple also H on a big contract sh- that was rolling. He's like happy to take guaranteed money. Triple H didn't show up. Triple H didn't show up in, in TNA. Never did. <laughs> um, Roger, Roger. Lex Luger, like where's he? He's at fucked up on drugs. Fucked up on drugs. Right now, probably calling nine one one. Not right now. Oh, in two thousand two. Probably calling nine one one. 
Look, uh, didn't they play that nine one one call on SmackDown? Did who? The Luger's Elizabeth thing. I'm what? almost sure that they played that on Why SmackDown. Why would they play that? Because neither of them were in the company. Yeah, fuck. No, I, I, I heard that as a kid. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure it was on SmackDown. It's on those weird web. No, it's one of those weird websites you're on. I wasn't. I didn't have the internet growing up. Uh, I just stop off in a friend's house yeah. at, like, after six o'clock. When <laughs> when when not everyone was on it, or it, it cost less after six. So I think we like we'd go up to his house and like get fucking results and go on to wrestling. I think you read it on Sky uh, Teletext. I heard that. I'm pretty sure that you was read a the promo. audio on maybe, Sky Teletext. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I would write letters to children who had Sky and ask them to reply <laughs> with the results of <laughs> wrestling superstars on a Saturday morning. Did you? No, no, not really. It does sound like something that you heard. I was in Irish college when uh, Vincent Mann was re- revealed as the higher power. I found out. In true, Irish? No, I found out. <laughs> very good. I found well, out, how do you say it's me, Austin, in I Irish? I found out via... <laughs> I found out... <laughs> I found out via letter. Uh, Ross Muck County Galway, I wrote to my friend and said... What, how, did that, how did it happen? Who was it? And he wrote Vince. And I was so annoyed. <laughs> I was so annoyed. Oh, it's just like I the devil storyline. Like, Kieran, cut it all. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know the Irish team. What, what did you say? <laughs> cut, a, cut a harlot, Kieran. Uh, and, and I'm like, episode Oscar will get coming soon. Tommy. Ah, uh, Tommy. Come on. Ta Ogler. I didn't show up for my Irish uh, oral exam. So. Um, right, WrestleMania 18 then. That was WrestleMania 18. 19 then. 19, I am... Um, Booker T, Triple H, Booker T going over, main yeah. event, booyah. I'm, I guess, I'm, I'm not too contrary about these ones, I'm genuinely... What was main event? Uh, Brock Kurt, and Angle. Oh, Kurt yeah. Angle, Brock Lesnar. Yeah, I'll stick with Kurt's Brock. Kurt's first WrestleMania, Kurt's first and only WrestleMania main event. How yeah. bad as is it though? Lesnar's like, first... They haven't been there that long. But Yeah, I'm but also like as soon as Lesnar came in, everyone was like Lesnar Angle. Because they are the two most like legit, real life, like amateur, like, you know, you, you got an Olympic gold medalist, this fucking NCAA, NCAA fucking beast, beast of an amateur prospect. Um, they were was a, Lesnar was already the champion by this point. Like he yeah. had already won the title. Yeah. But it was his first kind of face run and Angle was the perfect heel to go against. Like he's only in the business a year not even a year but like, they, they, like there's so many matches on this card that are potential main events otherwise you know this is like Jericho, Jericho, Jericho versus Shawn Michaels that's why I love that this is the main event like everything it's is such so a changing stacked. of like, the guard even the cruiserweight title match like Rey Mysterio yeah, and Matt Hardy. Hardy had a really like good story going Rock into and it Rock and Austin you got a Rock and Austin match you got Vince McMahon against Shawn Michaels uh, no Hulk, Hulk Hogan, Hogan, Hogan against Shawn Michaels and Roddy Piper shows up you got I don't know, Hulk Hogan against Vince. Vince Vince and you got Michaels against Jericho, Jericho. Roddy Piper shows up in that match yes and you have like so much going on. Undertaker against A-Train and Big Show that's a waste of the Undertaker that could have been a lot better yeah well like could you that's imagine his, one of his worst WrestleMania matches but could you imagine if they went with the purported like tag team match with, with Nathan, Nathan Jones. Jones and Nathan Jones does the pin and it doesn't get does I'm that not, get added to Undertaker's streak oh, you will never have that, that footage of Undertaker like pinning 20 and 0 and it's like Nate and Jones Nate Jones is head <laughs> photoshopped into it um, um, uh, yeah yeah. Undertaker versus either A-Train or you know Big Show would have been fine there the 2v1 um, is awful because it, it it undermines everybody in, in the match like A-Train Big Show are total losers for losing yeah. like as a ha- and handicap dues. match yeah at least make one of them lose on their own yeah it should, like, should, should have been a one there was never any kind of Undertaker Big Show WrestleMania match that would have been a like, fine year started, to do it. Have they started referring to the streak by this point? I, was it was no. it Flair when it was the no, first it's one? Re- I thought it was it's Art. Going it's to Michael's stuff. I thought it was Art. I think it's Art. I think Is it's it, like yeah. two years 21. off. Yeah, twenty one. Because I said it to someone yesterday. I was like Art, and they were like, "No, I'm pretty sure it's Flair." And I was like. It it's when hard. people started choosing to fight The Undertaker. It's not so much they mention it as it is making a thing of it, which really only started with the Art one. Do you think they started? Do they think they stumbled across him? Like, oh wait. 100%. Holy shit, this guy hasn't lost in 10 WrestleManias? How does he do it? I, yeah. I'd say someone in passing said to take her backstage. She's like, oh, didn't know yeah. that. That's a that's a my legacy. Cool gimmick. Well, I think, yeah, yeah. That's that, my legacy. At that point, it's nearly been 10 years of like... Who does he go up at, at that point then? WrestleMania 19. It's 2003. Yeah. Instead. Hmm. Why, instead of those two guys? Yeah. A-Train? Tell, tell, tell you who's yeah. there. He goes A-Train, one-on-one A-Train goes over. 
Well, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> fuck, um, you don't get behind that. Yeah, guys, who, guys, yeah. guys who, great guys who are not doing a whole, whole lot at this WrestleMania include uh, Rhino, uh, Eddie Guerrero, Eddie Undertaker, Chris Benoit. Be very interesting. Yeah, well, John I, Cena does nothing apart from like this. Rap. Is, he's just starting to get hot, but he just does a rap. Leave him off. Well, Chris Benoit is the runner up in that year's Royal Rumble, isn't he? No. Undertaker, Undertaker is runner up against Lesnar. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's that, that's a that's my bad. I think it's a uh, amazing WrestleMania. In well, it's yeah, up there, it's up there. Uh, like some people oh, regard it's it such as a the fantastic best. WrestleMania. Um, but yeah, I think just like two big fucking beefy dudes who were uh, at the top Amateur of their game, ba- who were legitimately like yeah. the oh. two toughest guys in the business. Amateur back Angle and Lesnar. And I remember like being really excited about that at the time. As, as cool as the other matches were in it, like Angle and Lesnar was also, this was a first time match. This wasn't like, you know, when we got Rock and Austin for WrestleMania the first time and they've been run that few yeah. for fucking ages. And then you find out about all the injuries, uh, broken freaking neck, all that good stuff. Um, yeah. 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 And then Brock the Lesnar press. tries the shooting star press, which, you know, was like an urban myth for ages. I had heard that Everyone's and I like, laughed at Did you hear like yeah, Brock Lesnar apparently is a really good shooting star press and I wouldn't see it for years like well, the know, laugh was now correct. you can see like the OVW versions yeah, of yeah, the, yeah. the insane shooting star he does actually go, go back, out, back then he just landed on his fucking head going wow, back to Jesus the Christ. Undertaker thing that's the year Sean O'Hara co- comes in proper oh like, yeah he's coming in with Roddy Piper the Devil's Advocate game yeah. which was Deadly. Deadly. which was I, fucking you know, amazing and he is such an underrated talent such a great promo like Imagine oh. imagine he is in the run up to Taker at Mania. Oh, him, ta- him and Taker be oh, class. Like O'Hare is another one, I and mean, maybe this is an episode in and of they itself. Fuck but him. like the idea of like great lost, you know, re- uh, Undertaker opponents over the years, like wrestlers who would have mm. had amazing f- and like like he's at Ra- going back to Raven again and we're going back to Raven, but like doink. Raven would have been joint. What about Raven? You know what I mean? Sabu. Like yeah. there's so many good Undertaker. Did they go up against Sabu when they had that ECW revival? No, they never did under like they that Sultan gimmick was I think had been pitched in nineteen ninety five. So for the Bundy slot at WrestleMania. Because Vin, Vince had been trying to get Sabu in for quite a while because Sabu was the hottest like independent in the world at that time. Um oh, like if he had yeah. just let him be fucking Sabu. Yeah, Sabu but even, like, Undertaker. even for Sabu in that era, like who was very much kayfabe and hard, who still kind of does to a degree. But even like, you know, this the, you know, Sabu was willing to do an awful lot of the Sultan stuff. Yeah. Um. So he was definitely like meeting Vince halfway, but Vince was probably just load more stupid shit. On and him. then, it did, like when he did come in ECW, Vince made him talk. Vince made him talk. Yeah. And you're just like, what the fuck? Because Vince remembered is like, yeah. a, like, you know, this amazing gimmick that Vince curated, a Sultan, who had his tongue cut off, who's managed by Bob Backlund and the Iron Sheik. Yeah, which would have in the That's end of mess. just been uh, been made talk anyway, like Kane was with the voice box and stuff, and they're like, you don't need that anymore. Yeah. I think Sabu should have done that, though. I think th- I would agree with Vince on that. I think Sabu was wrong yeah. to refuse Fuck that. you, Sabu. Yeah. Took it away from us. We got Rikishi in the rock. Son of a gun. But I wouldn't change the main event of this WrestleMania. Angle No, we've Lesnar. had a pretty good run now of like WrestleMania main events where you go, yeah, that was actually pretty... In this era... You know, the, it's hard it because a good idea. it defines you. It it defines you as as a wrestling as a fan person. because when you were growing up, like these were what was happening. This is when your mind was being molded by stuff. So, like as adults, that's why I think from twenty to forty is can be a bit of a, can be a bit of a clusterfuck. Like, yeah, and it can be hard to because because what you want mo- doesn't happen. Yeah, and more titles come into it, and you can have you can get more angrier because you're starting to think about more stuff than just what you're seeing on the screen whether that's right or wrong and that's why it's going to be interesting going from Wrestlemania 20 to Wrestlemania 30 controversial yeah this has been part 2 of rebooking Wrestlemania's on the Wrestling Fan Wrestling Show don't forget to like subscribe ring a ding a ling that notification bell look at all the videos and uh, anything else yeah look at the things look Kieran Kieran <coughs> just look at him Look at him. There you have it. Thanks very much for watching. And don't forget to rate us as well on the likes of Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, anywhere you do your podcast listening.